The NFL Draft and Park Vista alum A.T. Perry is one of the wide receivers expected to hear his name called. Now, most mock drafts have him as a top 20 receiver prospect and expect him to be taken on day two. But as our Theo Dorsey found out, for Perry, it's not where or when you go. It's about what you do when you get there. I'm different. Like, you don't see a lot of guys on my side do what I can do. Six foot three. With 4-4 speed and excellent hands, Park Vista alum and Wake Forest receiver A.T. Perry had 26 touchdowns the past two seasons for the Demon Deacons, and he's a lock to hear his name called in the 2023 NFL Draft. And I take my position very serious. Like, I want to be a legend at my, at my position. And, you know, just seeing what, you know, other guys can do and applying it to my game, as well as the pro guys as well, you know what I'm saying? It says a lot, and I don't think many coaches seen what I can do. Ahead of his draft day, Perry is back in his hometown of Riviera Beach. Give him the favor, old guy. He's keeping God first. There we go. And prioritizing building his body up with a familiar friend. Got a one-on-one or two? What's at the end, but you get all of it. Oh, I was finna say, don't tell me, buddy, cooked you on there. Not playing. <laughs> the last time A.T. Perry was actively training with dynamic fitness Ugh. gym owner DeAndre Morgan was 2018, following his playing days at Park Vista. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Get out of there. At that point, Perry was Good trying job. to put on pounds to get ready to play ACC football. It brings up so many memories. I remember just remembering high school and where I'm at now. It's just like, damn, I came a long way. You know, just working with him every day, you know, just gaining weight, gaining muscle, you know, going into Wake Forest. You know, like, hey, like, who's this big frame receiver? Five years later, the stakes are higher, but the 24-year-old Perry is the same beast and a different wow. animal. There we go. Grown man and the maturity. You know, so he don't mature so much and he don't learn so much because he's been through a lot, you know. Put me on a diet, started training, uh, eating and stuff like that, taking protein, and, you know, just seeing the results, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like, all right, I got to keep doing this. When Perry is drafted, he'll be the first athlete Morgan has trained that'll go on to go pro. First of many because after he go, other ones, they follow in suit, you know, so it's a lot of them that's in college now and they just waiting for the opportunity. When I have little kids come in and they see AT and other guys that I have, they look at them and be like, wow, they actually from here as well. Yes, they here. You can do the same thing they doing or better. This route to potentially playing on Sundays hasn't been simple for Perry, but it's landed him as one of the best receivers in this upcoming draft. He's got a day two label, but he feels that evaluation is off. I'm very humble, but I feel as if you know I should be the first receiver chosen. And for any team that may pass him up. You know what I'm saying? I hope they have a plan. So I'm coming in to work, coming in to make a statement, show people what I can do. Let the whole world know who A.T. Perry is. In Palm Beach County, Theo Dorsey for ESPN 1063.